It was a packed house with members from both the minority and majority heavily represented to welcome the president into the house to deliver a message on the state of the nation. The president in his address touched on a number of issues starting from the state of the Ghanaian economy. Economic growth is increasing from the alarming 3.6% at December 2016 to 7.9% in our first year. And the indications are that it will be even better this year. He highlighted some key interventions made by his government since assuming office. We have reduced taxes. We are bringing down inflation and interest rates. Economic growth is increasing from the alarming 3.6% at December 2016 to 7.9% in our first year. We have increased our international reserves, maintained relative exchange rate stability, reduced the debt to GDP ratio and the rate of debt accumulation. We have paid almost half of arrears inherited. And crucially, we are current on obligations to statutory fund. With what he described as a solid macroeconomic fundamental, the president predicted that Ghana's economy will emerge as the fastest growing economy in the world in the year 2018. Earlier in January, the World Bank stated that Ghana's economy will probably grow by 8.3% this year, which could make it the fastest growing economy in the world. And then last week, Bloomberg described Ghana's stock exchange as the best performing stock exchange in the world for January 2018. But the minority leader, Haruna Idrisu, had a perfect summary for the president's address. Mr. President, we have heard you on your state of promises. <laughs> and Mr. President, we have heard you that at least soul sourcing is still lawful in Ghana. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Eastern Corridor, the Eastern Corridor route, and the Bolga, and the Bolga Tanga Boku route, if contractors are paid and not given razor cards of renegotiations, they will be completed on time. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, you, you, you ended, you ended on a good note of a proverb. When you see a frog come out of a deep hole, its assistant is with it in the hole bringing it out. For the majority leader, Oseche Mensa Bonsu, the reactions from his colleagues were to be expected. Yeah, of course, not to be missed. Not to be missed today is the inundation of the chamber by morning clocks. And of course, the accompanying dirges. Mr. Speaker, the people of Ghana remember that it's only a year ago that my colleagues went into mourning. I will play that. Having listened to the president, we adjourn in order to recompose ourselves, but we will not miss the occasion to join our colleagues in the morning. Present at the event were members from the diplomatic corps security agencies and former presidents John Ejekum Kufo, John Mahama and Vice President Emi Saatha. From the Parliament House, Sharif Apia, reporting for Metro News.